Hello and thank you for watching. In this short video, I hope to help you with measure 21 of Chopin's famous waltz in A minor, this one. So we're going to go directly to measure 21. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the notes in this measure, not worrying about the rhythm. Um, we're going to look at the notes and the fingering. And for this particular measure, I like to use one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. And so let's start on beat one. We've got an E, we've got a G sharp. So when you see that little sharp symbol, instead of playing this note, you're going to play the note a half step higher and then three. So your hand feels a little bit stretched out for this E chord, E, G sharp, B. Then our thumb's gonna fold under the hand. You see how my thumb's doing that? And sometimes it's a little bit easier if my hand is like this, then I get a little stuck. But if I have my hand a little bit curved to the side, makes it a little easier than this reaching. So that's what I would suggest if that works for your hand. So we start with E, G sharp, B, thumbs coming under, finding the next E, which is a long stretch, by the way. Look how long that is, big stretch. Then we have another G sharp, then we have another B, and it looks like we have this note again, and this note again, at the end of that group of five notes. But if you look above, you see this eight VA with a bunch of dotted lines. And what that means is instead of playing you're going to play one octave higher. That 8VA means play one octave higher instead. And they use that so they don't have to draw a bunch of extra lines above the staff, which can be really confusing. So beat two, one, two, three. Then we're gonna play 8VA, octave higher, octave higher, and then that B again, and then fourth finger on C. So the notes are, G-sharp, B, E, G-sharp, B, E, G-sharp, B, C. And here's the way I like to practice it. I like to block the chords, play them all at the same time. A bunch of times, so my hands get used to being spread out. You're finding that it's kind of a long jump between this E when you go under to here. Hopefully, turn your hand a little bit to the side. You can get that. And then I like to add the left hand. You won't see it in the video, but you can hear where I'm adding it. So I'm going to play three notes. Now I'm going to play five notes. Two, three, four, five. Now I'm going to play two notes. First one's going to be longer than the second. Let's do that again. Three notes. Now, the final thing I want to address is the rhythm of this measure. It's really fun and you can get it uh, if you repeat this a lot of times and get it really feeling flexible with your thumb crossing under. So the first beat is what I call the fat beat. It's split into three equal parts. So one, we've got five notes so these are going to be a little bit faster because they're fitting in the same amount of time as beat one so we have to fit one two three four five and then the last beat is a subdivision of four the first note is three fourths and the last one is one fourth so it's going to be one and a one two three four five one two Thank you for watching this short video. I hope it helped you with measure 21 of the waltz in A minor. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos on piano technique and piano literature. Thanks again for watching.